So they quarantined my patent, took it out of the patent office, and they so it could not be seen uh, by potential terrorists because then they could have an antidote to smallpox. So I got involved with the U.S. BioShield biodefense program directly after 9-11. You can Google my name, Stamets, and smallpox. There's a vetted press release from the U.S. government. And we found extracts that were highly active against flu viruses, against, uh, including bird flu, um, against herpes, and against pox viruses, including smallpox. So I have a patent that issued on this. So I had uh, published this research on the antiviral properties of mushrooms, the mycelium. And then I heard about the, the bees. You know, I had raised bees. And then a friend of mine, Louis Schwarzberg, we're doing a movie called Fantastic Fungi. That's, you can Google right now, Stamets can take down Monsanto. There's probably a thousand websites because my patents are disruptive patents. We have found that extracts of this mushroom are duly active against bacteria and viruses. Most people who die from viral pneumonia actually die from bacterial pneumonia. They get a viral infection. They oh, their immune system over amps and it's a response. They get flood, lungs get flooded with liquid, bacteria set up, and bacterial pneumonia usually kills people who actually get a flu virus, they die from bacterial pneumonia. This has now led on to um, our discovering uh, molecules active against HPV, the human papilloma virus. That's a very controversial vaccine, apparently. It's very dangerous. Well, the, the, I'm not anti-vaccination, but, no, I'm, not either, but, but I'm curious why they don't recommend the vaccine after the age of 24. So we have found five molecules authenticated by NIH virology as being potently active against HPV. Which mushrooms? Uh, all the polypores um, that I have been talking about. Uh,